who are trying to say, hey, I got this, you can take a step back, I'm in charge. No. Uh, never. <laughs> Get your hand off me. No, stop it. Um, <laughs> yeah, the clash of the egotistical um, sort of uh, vainglorious goatees, definitely. You know, there's a lot of grown up in the room. Dueling goatees. Dueling <laughs> goatees. Goatee to goatee. Are they making an appearance? What's that? Does the facial hair of girls make an appearance? If that's what we are, we do make an appearance in this movie, yes. <laughs> Is that what we are? Facial yeah, hair bros? That's okay. what we are. Uh, uh, um, so yeah, no, yeah, we, we, we kind of, we, we, we do, we have a bit of a clash and that's no bad thing and that's something to enjoy in the film without spoiling anything is to see how that relationship unfolds. Brian? Yeah, and I didn't, I mean, I should have known this just by watching it, but uh, being a big fan of the Doctor Strange uh, standalone too, if you think about it logically, if you want to with superhero movies, um, you know, Strange is the guy who actually can, if he has the wherewithal to do it, he's the one who can run through all the outcomes and, and actually uh, figure out what the most likely scenario is going to be. And I think once Tony recognizes that, that's something that even though he thinks it might be within his control, ultimately it's the, there's a spiritual solution. And if someone has the ability to have that kind of intuition, you can only stay at odds with them for so long. Yeah, for someone who's a brilliant industrious material, somebody whose logic and science works through the medium of technology as opposed to mind going into the Eastern mysticism, the sort of the, the holding of understanding of the cosmos and the multiverse. It, it's, you would think there was not much of Van Diagram meat, but there is. There completely is, of course, and yeah, you just described.